Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have got a major journal to share with you today. I have worked on this booger and worked on this and worked on this for the longest time. I thought I'd never finish, but I love it. It turned out so beautiful. And this one is going to be for sale and all the information will be below in the description box. So what I did is I took a vintage pattern um, envelope and I decoupaged it onto my cardstock um, covers. I did a corset binding on this and the video look everything looks kind of a bluish purple. It's really not. It is more of a red purple. It's just the color is and see all that kind of looks blue. It's not. The whole thing is purple. As a matter of fact, I have named this journal so purple so being sew that's glue sew so purple because it the whole journal is a sewing theme um this corset binding i learned from a bohemian crafter on youtube she has a video um a tutorial on how to do that and i just did mine with this beautiful purple um let's look at the tassel the tassel has glass beads, a rondelle, a lampwork glass bead, and then just a beautiful, huge uh, bead cap. I've got sorry silk. I've got fibers. I've got all kinds of goodies in here. And then I also hang, hung this um, char all these charms. So I've got the, um, the um, bobbin thread. I've got a key. I've got a little dress on a hanger. Um, this little charm says create. This one says made with love. And look at that little shoe. Is that the cutest thing? It's got rhinestones on that side. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love that. So, and this is put on with a bulldog clip. So you can take it off. It, it is removable, which, you know, you either take it off or move it up when you're going to open it. I've got a little miniature pair of scissors attached on the very front right here. I've got metal corners front and back. And I've closed it with a double strand of sorry silk in the most gorgeous purple you've ever seen. I just love this stuff. So let's go through it and let me show you. <laughs> this has a purple lace pocket. Got my little doily there. I've got a button card that I made with the pattern flap up there. Sorry, silk fibers everywhere. Here's a little... Uh, tag with a measuring tape and this has a little button closure so here is a vintage sewing machine and that just flips down for some uh, journaling space I've done tons of stitching in here hand stitching um, machine stitching all kinds of really pretty things got a little um, safety pin there um, here's a page that is this uh, envelope flaps over there, so I'll take that off and show you. This just has some vintage book page, and this is just a darling little card, uh, journaling card. I put a snap on it right there and snapped it. <laughs> That's so cute. And you can just journal on that. Then I've got this little paper clip here, and it just slips on like that. Got a, a little um, quote here, some deli paper a doily in the middle of the signature and this signature is um twine binding i believe is what they call these where you just wrap the whole thing around and it is a hidden binding so it's back in there you don't see it and you can't see it on the outside either then i've got some little round pockets check this out pam at the paper outpost did a video on this and that was just so darling. I loved how she did that. But I put a little pocket on mine. I decided it needed a pocket. So it expands. This The inside here also has a little pocket. You can stick something up under there if you want to. So there's that page. Here's this cute little um, tag here. And I've got a hook and eye that um, is stitched onto that little tag. Oh, I didn't show you my little silk ribbon, um, whatever. I've got a lot of silk ribbon embroidery in here. There's some vintage book, book pages that I did not have to distress. 
It was that gorgeously distressed all by itself. Love it. Love it. Um, this little guy is going to flip open, but I'm going to show you first. Behind it is a little trifold tag pocket. That's a digital download, and I honestly forgot who I got that one from. But this guy closes with this little, um, it's like a blue jean, um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And that goes behind it, you know, like a pants, like your, your pants closure. So that just kind of folds out like that, and it just hooks. I tried to put all this sewing stuff in here. Here's some organza ribbon. I've got tabs made out of uh, measuring tape. I've got some tassels hanging from the bottom. If you guys are familiar with Mrs. Cog, she calls these her drippings. So I got that idea from Mrs. Cog. If you have not visited her channel, she's awesome. Go check her out. So this is the pattern um, instructions that I put on some cardstock. Made a little pocket out of it with a tag. Over here, I've got a fabulous fabric flip. I love this guy. So it's got all these little pieces, beautiful laces and sheer fabrics that just flip up right there. You can put something behind it if you wanted to. I've got a little tab right here that says sewing on it. It's a little distressed tab. And then I've got some stitching down here at the bottom because I did it on this side too, all the way through. Here's a little matchbook that is attached, but it is left open on the side here. You could stick a tag in there if you wanted to. Inside the matchbook, I've got some of that silk ribbon embroidery with a little miniature Tim Holtz paperclip. So there's some of the silk ribbon. If you wanted to do more stitching on here, you could. I've got just a little um, daisy petal stitched up there. This girl here, oh, I just loved this. I put three um, snaps down the side, and she's all in, again, it looks kind of blue in the film, but it is not. It's purple. It's all purple, purple. There is a little uh, vintage, um, what do you call it, like a ribbon card, a thread card. I've got some purple thread on it. Vintage uh, crochet pattern, knit patterns. Here's a vintage image for a shirt waist for $17.50, <laughs> and that just opens. There's that vintage um, knitting magazine. Here's a vintage coin magazine, a book, I should say book. Here's a little vintage lady image, and she's working on a quilt, coffee dyed paper. Here is pattern pages and some just some cute little sewing ephemera. This is one of my buttons that I make out of cardstock, and I am heat emboss, and behind it is just a bunch of threads that I had pulled off of some muslin. So over here, we've got a pocket, and inside that pocket, you've got this little mini journal that has a button uh, dangling from the closure. So you just open that up, and it's got little pages. These are some of my jelly print um, pages, some vintage book pages, and some vintage sewing pattern pages all in there. So that wraps around like that. And I've just got this little, oh, I think I went one more time. Yeah, we'll go three times. And then that just goes around that little hook. And that goes in the pocket. Here I did some just some large um, slow stitching and some French knots. I've got a dangle in purple, of course, over here. <laughs> There's that vintage book again. Here's the cute, 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 cute little um, vintage looking envelope and see there's my signature so this is how easy you can take put in or take out some of these pages but i put a little paper clip because down inside this there it is i put a needle threader <laughs> i didn't want to lose it so a little needle threader is down in there and then to put your page back in which your envelope this is an envelope it just slides under there and then I just took the itty bitty 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 paper clip just to make sure that didn't come out. So here's another button card. This time I'm using it as a pocket. And there is a tag made out of the pattern. More pattern paper. 
Here's another cute little envelope. I've got a um, safety pin up there. This envelope is hooked on with a large um, paper clip that has a beautiful dangle hanging from it too. I don't think I put anything in that one. So here's a little bit of stitching here. Here's the other half of those pages. Some more slow stitching. Now this is one of my pattern paper instruction sheet flowers that I just did a tutorial on just recently. And here's a little tab that's embossed. It's kind of plastic coated. More of that little string. So this paper clip is holding on this little itty bitty bitty envelope. I don't think I put anything in there. So you can put anything you want to. This started getting so chunky that I I was like, I want to add one of every single thing I know how to do or everything I can think of on each journal. I'm like, okay, Carrie, you need to stop. That's enough. Quit putting so much. But I want to. I just keep thinking of stuff. This is a little fabric patchwork pocket that I did. And I left it open on the top and on the side for you to stick things. And then I've got a little miniature journal that's all made with beautiful matching wallpapers. So that goes in that pocket. Okay, this one has the sewing pattern pocket again. Look at her. Is she just precious? Oh my gosh. Love it, love it, love it. I did some little stitching up here, a little bit of that corset stitch. Uh, here's another altered paper clip. Come off you. And it's just holding on this cute little miniature tag, um, fold out tag. So let's, and all these flowers are so pretty in purple. That's got four different shades of purple. Some more of the beautiful um, purple fringe. These are, oh, let me see, who did I get them from? It's sewing words. I want to say Mrs. Cog. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. Um, and then I just made a cluster out of it, dangled some buttons, and put a snap there. Here's a beautiful lady in purple. Gorgeous. Here's just a cute little calling card thing. Um, here's another envelope. I don't think I put anything in that one either. And it's also attached with a floral paper clip. And then this is some of that beautiful um, dyed paper that I ordered from... Who was it? Ooh, if I think about it, I will put it in the description. Here's a purple zipper that I opened and attached. And I've got this beautiful vintage little girl behind it. And it's got a little journaling card. It is a pocket in the back. There's another little um, daisy petal. Look at these guys. These two little girls in that quilt. So, so cute. So cute. Um, some blueprint papers. Um, this one says Birdie Darling. Had the violets on the front. How could I resist? I had to add that. I put a, another little snap there because those little snaps kind of looked like doorknobs to me. So thought it was cute. Check this out. Love, love, love this image. That's something I got off the internet. I don't remember exactly where, but I made a flip up out of it. So I got some little ribbon down here. Music paper. There's another one of those sewing word clusters that I made. Here is the floating belly band I showed in a uh, previous video. So I've just got a little card behind it. Um, so this is the belly band, but it's got just a little floating ele element that slides back and forth. I took the words top stitch off of the instructions and made that little uh, tab. There's some silk ribbon uh, bow and another little dangle hanging over here. Come here, dangle. Let's see, they hang down when they want to. There they go. That's how it's supposed to hang like that. They, this is a ribbon rose. Um, if you are familiar with silk ribbon embroidery, some people call it a spider rose because you make a little spider pattern first and then you run your ribbon round and round it. Um, so on this page, here's a little tag here with a tag, a tag with a pocket that has a tag in it. And then... Here's another little tag with a paper clip, and then I stenciled a bird, and another bird, and then this flips open. Here's the first lesson on the Singer sewing machine, it says, and that precious, I love it. Oh, I love it. I had it sticking right there, 
but it just wasn't wanting to stay well enough for me. So I ended up putting a paper clip just to make sure I didn't lose it. There's another one of those sewing clusters. I put a hook and eye on this one and some buttons, vintage papers, a flip down that goes under that little handmade button that I made. Here's a little envelope. <laughs> I have to show you this. <laughs> this envelope is a paper clip, okay? And inside this envelope is, and I didn't want them to come out, so some little pins. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, y'all. I love miniatures. Of course, I've told y'all that a hundred times. <laughs> I, do. I love miniatures. But yeah, I wanted to make sure those pins didn't come out and stick anybody. So I just, come on. I just attached them. This little paper clip is so tiny. It's hard to work with. On the back of it, I have a fabric flip in all these lots of shades of purple and just tons of bling, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff that was given to me. This was given to me. That's in a gorgeous, gorgeous purple and then beautiful lace. I did some more stitching. Okay, I'm going to try to go a little faster. It's getting long. Sorry. Um, this envelope, I did put something in it. Honestly, I don't remember right now, so let's take a look. There's another little, um, oh yes, I do remember. It's a little vintage envelope packet that I closed with some um, washi tape. It's one of those vin those really, really old sewing kits that you used to get Oh, I don't know where they got them from. I'm not sure I was born yet. It was a long, long time ago. I think the insurance man or the vacuum cleaner salesman maybe gave those out. I'm not sure. Um, got some music page in here. Doily. Here's another one of those little envelopes. I don't have anything in that one. Some more beautiful, beautiful, these ladies with sorry silk. Some more hand stitching. This is a... Um, pattern, piece of pattern. Here's another one of those um, flip out thing on the bobbies that's so cute. It has a pocket there, has a pocket there, has a little snap there. <laughs> I love it. There's another one of those sewing clusters and this says handmade. Did a little slow stitching up there and then the back pocket has another gorgeous button card with all purple except for that one uh, metallic button. I've got a sticker here that says handmade by and I've got I signed my name there and this goes here and this goes here and that is it guys. This is a major major journal here. This was I can't tell you how many hours I've put in to this one. So anyway the information will be below if you are interested. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.